Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kathleen Horvath, and I'm a business feng shui master and the creator of the Time Blazer Business Management System. This system is a personalized system that is based on your metadata. So your birth information makes it a personalized system. And I'm teaming up with, I'm going to say, a friend, colleague, and a spiritual sister. Her name is Kate Helmers. Um, Kate has worked with me for a couple of years. We actually became each other's clients, resource, and now collaborators. And Kate has a very unique skill set that I felt was really helping my own clients as well as myself. So we're teaming up and Kate, I'm going to let you get into what you do. Um, just tell our audience what um, you do. And then we're going to talk about why we're doing this important collaboration now. Absolutely. So yes, when I met Kathleen, it was interesting. I felt like she had the other side of what I do. So what I do is I'm able to see people's energy, not just chakras or auric fields, but all 20 energetic systems. What is the most important thing for that person right now? So what their energy looks like now, and then what it needs to look like to get to their goals, and sometimes in between steps. So when I read somebody, that's what I read what their energy looks like now, and then what it needs to look like. And then I'll let them know what they need to do to get there. Right. So you combine that with your stuff, Kathleen, and it's just amazing. And it's so much fun to read somebody together because all of this information comes out. So, so you know, really what, what we're finding to be most impactful with our collaboration is we are actually on the cusp of a seismic energetic shift. Now, this really goes back to the roots of all the cycles in, in the metaphysical world. I follow the Eastern philosophy and uh, every 180 years, there's a big, 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 big shift in energy. So what we're leaving are like 20 year blocks, if you will, we're leaving an earth energy and you know, we saw so much happening during that time. I think probably one of the things people can absolutely say, there were a lot of millionaires being made during this time, right? Um, but there was also a lot of collapse. And we've seen it, especially in these last few years. Um, you know, yes, we did go through a pandemic, but that's actually all foretold as well. So what we are able to do is actually see a little bit ahead so we can help prepare our clients for this big upcoming shift. And one of the best things anyone can do, every single person, including us, is to release the past. Otherwise, you're going to start getting into these karmic loops of just either attracting the same things in over and over again, and or what you do attract in, it's even worse than the last thing you try to get rid of. So you really, um, we, we really dive into like the jewels that might be hidden in your metadata, as well as some of the challenges. And what I really love about Kate, like I can give you that information. And yes, I can even give you the roadmap of what to do. But you but what you do, you look at it from a different angle and really come in and kind of dissect some of the things that people um, can really empower themselves. And that's what I love about our, our collaboration is that we are actually helping our clients not be like absolutely dependent on us, but come to us as a resource, but also helping empower themselves. Because really we want everyone to benefit from this big period shift. The period shift officially happens February 4th, 2024, but we're in a very opportunistic moment in time. We can get ready and that's what we're helping our clients do. So we're going to do a little bit of a case study just to give you a little flavor of um, how we're collaborating with each other. So are you ready for that, Kate? Absolutely. Okay. I can't wait. 
All right. So we're actually looking at um, one of my clients as I am uh, pulling uh, this up right now. And we're, we, we've come up with um, frequencies because we both look at subtle energies just in a little bit different way. Um, mine comes from repeatable patterns. Kate's comes from her own, um, uh, what would you call it? I, I don't want to mis misstate it. Would you just say? Just reading the energy, seeing the energy. I see the energy and the people know what I see. That are All right. Well, we're going to start with my side of it, and then we're going to transition over to, to Kate's. So my uh, system is really built on a holistic approach of person, space, time, and universe. And what I mean by that, we're going to be looking at today, just a small snippet of it, which is the metadata, the personal metadata that um, our client that we're going to be talking about today. The rest of it, it will unfold as we uh, continue um uh, teaching you what we're going to be uh, talking about. All right. So here is uh, the person that we're going to be looking at. And this person is actually in between uh, jobs. So what she wants to know is what would be a good thing for her to be looking at as far as her next move, if you will. So there's a lot of information on this chart. Um, but what I would um, want you to focus on when we're talking today is a person's natal chart. It's not, you can't change that. If you're born, that's the, the deck of cards you were dealt with the universe. But here's the thing. You get a choice on how you get to play the hand. So you can either use it for good or you can ignore it and just let the universe take its course and wing it, which sometimes you get wax um, going like, oh, what the heck just happened? Well, you weren't paying attention is what was happening. So this particular person, and I want you to look at um, the, just right below the natal chart, there's something called five structures. That is the compilation of totality of all of the yin and yang energy of the natal chart. The rest of it, again, we're, we're only talking about the natal chart today. And so we can see that first and foremost, this person has all five elements and that's good. Um, even if it's just a, a little smidgen of it, at least we have it. And then um, this is the yin and yang of those five elements, but just looking at each of those elements. So she's asking about career. When you're looking at a natal uh, chart from um, the perspective of business, because there's many angles in which you can look at a chart, health, relationships, finance, et cetera. We're looking at it from a business perspective. So your year of birth constitutes the people that you know that can help rise you up or take you down. Choose your friend wisely. And this person actually has an opportunity this year to make selections about editing out maybe people who are no longer serving that purpose. And let's face it, as, as um, we age, <laughs> um, we are also going to start seeing things like, um, you know, you move away. So of course you're going to have, you know, a new set of friends, et cetera. But also we want to uh, keep in mind that um, we have some an annual energies to be very much um, seeing if it's compatible with your chart or if it's going to create some dynamic change. At the time of this recording, we are currently in the water rabbit year and the rabbit and the rooster clash. So what this is saying for this person, there's going to be some shift in your your acquaintances, your friends, the people that you network with. So choose wisely as you edit out. Maybe this person has moved away. Maybe this person isn't isn't on your same um, path as far as values anymore. It's okay. You can you can switch that up and and make the best of it. Right. The month of birth is about your career and what you're best suited at doing as well as uh, your character. So this could change um, with something that's happening with the year. Well, the dog and the rabbit, they're actually best friends. So actually, this is where uh, this person actually is going to have some good opportunities of finding some employment this year. Now, we're going to also look at the day of birth. The day of birth is really about 
your personal um, growth, if you will, your your uh, partnerships. Um, but what I really want people to really think about is how they can grow by learning all of the the jewels and essences that are in their chart. So, but I'm going to also drop down very quickly because this is a very quick read to this destiny cycle. This person happens to be in a luck cycle. These are 10 years. I call each one of these a book book of life, if you will. So there's like 10 different books in this life. Within each book, there's 10 chapters. Each chapter relates to the year of. So we are in the year of the water rabbit. And it's happening within the current luck cycle of her water tiger. So last year, 2022, was a water tiger year. So she experienced this pretty heavily with two water tigers in the chart. And what is it affecting this time? It's actually affecting a couple of things. It's affecting her day of birth where there is a clash. And it's a pretty strong clash because it was two tigers against that one monkey. So Again, hopefully this person looked at what can I do to improve myself? Is there something that um, maybe a personal growth or um, working with a life coach of some sort that would be very helpful for her to guide her because your personal decisions are very much going to affect your professional life, right? So, but the tiger also combines with the dog. Now it's only two thirds of a three, what's called the three harmony. And we love three harmonies. We love three harmonies. So what this person needs to do, and I'm just going to throw in just a little bit of, um, favorable timing, auspicious timing from the time blazer is that when we have either a horse year, that's not coming up for another, um, actually it's coming up, a fire horse year is coming up in 2026. Then we also have the horse month with this, with, that's in June. It's already passed at the time of this recording. So now we need to look at either a horse day, which will come every 12 days or a horse hour, which is noon to 1 p.m. every day. Again, repeatable patterns will help help you get there. So what this is actually doing is bringing more fire to this person's chart because for her, fire means power. So she could be taking on a leadership role or she's sending out resumes or, um, you know, like video um, uh, um, interviews that that one is asked to do these days, I would be choosing a good horse day to send that out. And that would help her immensely. Now, this person has a very strong metal chart. Metal in, in, the, in the metaphysical world means structure. It means um, systems. So this would be about getting things in order, if you will. So as she's transitioning, update her skills and get them in a systematic way where she could present that to her next employer and actually give her a boost up. She also, this is very hidden though. You, you would have to know a little bit of astrology. She has a very sequential chart, but also a very heavy metal chart because she has the full metal fall autumn season in her chart, which would be a monkey rooster if we're going sequentially and then the dog. And then we have the last part of summer, um, which is the goat. So all of this is just lending itself to more metal in her chart. So the annual energies are certainly going to help her. One last thing I want to say before I turn it over to you, Kate, is that we also have to watch out. This is what we love to do is look just a few steps ahead but we're going to start looking 10 years ahead, if you will. And what is fire to each and every individual? So the fire, you'd have to look on, you know, your own individual meta chart to, to tell you that. But in this person's chart, it's going to be power and leadership. So she shouldn't get a job that's just, how should I put it, um, a worker bee. She should be a manager. She should be a leader and take on that role boldly. Um, so we've got, um, again, uh, we want to look what fire is to a person. And the last thing I'm going to say is I'm going to look at this in the archetypes, the wealth. 
The wealth is going to tell you whether you are better being an entrepreneur or better working for someone else. And as you can see, her wealth element is 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 um, quite slim. And I wouldn't worry about that one bit because I know people who have zero in their wealth um, uh, category and they're multi, multi millionaires. You just need to know how to use your chart. So what I would encourage her to do is start creating some things, um, whether it be a product, a system or whatever, she can be in, in, um, uh, what is that called? An um, entrepreneur where, you know, intrapreneur, where you're actually going to a company and saying, I have this product to help you along. This would be something that she could actually provide and get, um, get paid for her expertise. Now it's not to say that she could not be an entrepreneur, but what she's going to, um, really be looking at is, uh, Yang Wood. So, in this luck cycle, she's in a Yang Wood uh, tiger is Yang Wood. That's really going to help her um, with these entrepreneurial endeavors. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit hidden. Um, and when when your wealth element shows up on top, that's when you really go after it. So even though that says it's 60, we're going to have, guess what, next year, a wood dragon. So she can really actually do some breakthroughs. Now that's going to clash with this dog. And it's also, it's going to be what's called a heaven and earth clash. So there's going to be big change for our client already starting because of what, of the energies, the annual energies that were happening, but there's going to be a seismic change in her chart. And she has a great opportunity to really take this information and start getting some systems and creating things um, for her. So um, for herself and her her next um, uh, job that she's at. So uh, let's move on to Kate's reading of um, our client here. And I think you need a, a little bit of setup here first. Yes. So again, Kate Helmer is from Your 10 Keys. And I just wanted to show you some uh, a few pictures of kind of what I see <clears throat> when I'm working with someone. So uh, these are a few of the 20 different energetic systems that I see. So they come out in visuals. Sometimes it's really colorful and, and sometimes it's not, but then I draw up the energy for the person. So, and I'm not an artist, <laughs> so they can be a little rough, but they're kind of fun. So again, I will see what is beneficial for the person to know. So if you, and it's so interesting, Kathleen, what your reading was, because I actually drew these yesterday uh, in regards to it. And they're very synchronistic. So if you can turn to the next slide, that would be great. And, and before I before I do go to that next slide, oh. I want you to know that when when Kate is doing these drawings, it's really not about the art. It's about the energy. And really, she's just she's transcribing what she sees and feels. So um, so here we go. And then it's really getting to where you need to get to. So that's what the the whole thing is. So right now is the picture on the left. <clears throat> and this is, um, so it's so interesting you said, because I have not read this client, uh, met her, but not read this client in months and months and months. Uh, so didn't know what she was going through. So the first drawing shows that, um, you can't see it as much, but the left-hand side is brown and the right-hand side is red for that fire energy. So it's almost like she's half and half in earth energy and fire energy, but that earth energy with the orange brown um, disruptive energy wants to be gone. It just wants to be gone. It wants to have a smooth transition. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, so hopefully she'll be listening to this. And um, the faster that you can come up with your decisions and the faster you can make your decisions, it's a really good idea because that um, dramatic energy uh, is not good for you. <laughs> and it needs to transition to new energy. And the way you can do that, 
So the next step, because there are two steps for you now, the next step is taking that fire energy and interrupting it. So you'll see the little red um, bands around the outside. That's been kind of a protection for you. Your protections are, are really, really good. So whatever you're doing, prayers, meditations, etc., stick to it. You will really, really need it. Interrupting that or, or intersecting that with blue calming energy. And I don't know what her chart is like as far as water is concerned, but it it is a water element that I keep seeing, whether it's sitting by the ocean or uh, just having, um, it's not drinking water, it's more seeing water. So even if it's your screen on your uh, screensaver, it's just having that calming energy. And it's a type of self care that you need to give yourself along with um, everything you're doing for your work. So again, meditations, uh, going for walks, um, having alone time and not making sure that the boundaries between you and other people, because I get that you are a very, very giving person. And right now, especially the next two or three months is going to be setting up for next year. You need to pay attention to your inner self and make sure that that's taken care of. So all of the blue things, all of the blue lines, dashes, on this protection are different types of self-care that you need to do for yourself. And self-care can be, you know, taking five minutes to chop up vegetables that you're going to saute, you know, anything that's for you. Um, the inside, the yellow, the bright yellow is divine light or highest positive energy. Just ask that that infiltrates your entire being on the inside. And then inside that, your inner self is um, filled with highest positive energy, which is fantastic. Inside of that, the green heart is the, um, it's like you're looking for money right now, which is fine, because um, Kathleen just said that you're um, looking for jobs. So on the job front, I got three different things. One is that um, you can work for somebody else. You can be an entrepreneur. But the problem is right now that the your ultimate wealth is going to come from within. So like Kathleen said, if you're a manager, if you're working for a company, you need to be yourself and be the power person wherever it is. It doesn't need to be the head of the company, but head of a division, working yourself up to that, knowing all the technology, knowing all the systems, having an organization for your job and keep, there's an old, old say it, saying that says, keep to your knitting. And that saying means that you keep to your job, coordinate that job, and you will go far. If you choose to do entrepreneurial things, if you have the money to invest, to make sure you're taken care of, it's a good time to do that. If you don't have the money, then you need to do a parallel. There are a lot of people that I read that can do the risk and they're going to make it with the risk. That is not you. It needs to be systematic for you. So if you don't have the money it would take for a year or two of entrepreneurial style, then you can do parallel. You can work for somebody else create the passive income or create the money to invest, to do your um, solopreneur, entrepreneur uh, things. By doing that, by bringing your inner self's gifts out for people, whether it's through a company or whether it's through entrepreneurial style, if you can go to the next slide, what ends up happening is your entire inner being, which is the little heart there, just absolutely thrives and just spouts out love of life, love of others, and love of what you're doing. And that's really, really where you want to go. What ends up happening if you follow that, uh, 
I actually keep getting that it's much better for you to do a parallel where you're working for somebody else as you're designing over the next couple of years, what you want to do um, as far as even if it's a side investment, writing a book or um, side investment of a product, taking it to market, uh, you can absolutely do that. But be sure your money is foundational. Make sure your money is always covered and you've got plenty of, um, you know, plenty in the bank to make sure you're covered because that will be, it affects you a lot more than it does other people. So don't listen to others when they say, you know, oh yeah, take the risk. It's no problem. No, no, no. It is a problem for you. <laughs> so make sure you do it. If you do that and follow that, what ends up happening and continue with the protections that you're doing now, you end up with highest positive energy, divine light on the inside, plus the outside of you and what people see. Um, and then in between the protections, yes, where the, where the marker is right now, the little green, that is the little green curlicues, that is attraction energy coming to you with money. Underneath that, the pink is um, incredible energy for your products or your book, whatever it is that's yours alone. It's not another company's, it's yours alone. And then the curly cues on the left-hand side, the blue, so, so important for you to make sure you have self-care and calming energy. If the blue calming energy is there in your life and you set the boundaries for other people, then the rest of it just flows. And then up on the top, the three pink, yes, those three pink triangles, um, they're actually three products or three, something three that you bring to market. And they're really, really big, whether whatever it happens to be, it's over the next 10 years or so. And it's three things that you can have happen in your life. So for instance, if you are working for another company, you could buy real estate, you can buy an apartment complex and, or, you know, start with one or two apartments, rent that out. And it could be three different locations. So it doesn't need to be a product, but it's definitely other investments for you. And you can be very, very successful if you balance it out that way by making sure that you have income to cover your bread and butter, and then um, you can invest on that. So I hope that helps. I'm so excited for you. You have uh, your great, great energy. Well, you know, there is something to be said as well about um, what you said about the next, you know, five or 10 years. So this period nine that we're talking about, it is a 20 year cycle um, and really, the, the smart people are going to get themselves set up now um, for those really like ready to jump in and be prepared because this preparatory stage, it's starting to close down. We only have five months left before that new period shift um, officially comes in, but we can already tap into it. But we have something um, in my field that's called ascending and descending chi. So when the energy is ascending, that's when you give it your all. And then once you hit the peak, then that's where you just, I'm not going to say exactly just sit back and let it all roll in, but you should have everything set up in the next I'm going to say if, if for those for those who who have something that they're holding back on, try to get it launched, you know, as soon as possible. So you're ready for that period nine or just right after period nine, um, you know, the clock ticks over and it goes into that next cycle. But it is that ascension that is going to um, help. And you're reading of, of, you know, letting go of things that aren't serving. Um, that was kind of a, a, a crossover, what I was saying as well. This is for everyone. Everyone has a great opportunity to release and let go things that are no longer serving them. Um, and so um, that is actually leading to um, what we are um, about to launch. And so we are doing a uh, webinar 
It's called the Wisdom Webinar Frequencies because we can see that energy. Um, and so is there anything else you'd like to add about frequencies and how we're going to um, continue to do things like this and share tools about how people can empower themselves? A couple of things, actually an idea I came up with um, while you were talking was we might be able to do a reading that's just a general reading for people because maybe we'll do that at frequencies because it's so important, like you say, to release some th stuff that there's, there's definitely things that everybody needs to do. But what I love about the information that we put together for frequencies was it's, it's very specific on information about dates, times, energy flows, energetic techniques that will help you in the next setting up for the next um, year for and for the next 20 years for period nine. Um, very, very specific information. So I hope you join us because we'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, well, um, with that said, we will see you next time. It was great um, having having you here with me today, Kate, and I look forward to um, having this collaboration blossom because there's a lot of people out there that are very excited about what we're from the feedback I'm getting. They're very excited about what we're doing and they can't wait. Um, so it's um, only a few weeks away. And so we will see you then. Take care. Yes, absolutely. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks. Bye.